Hello there, gamers everywhere. I'm Swippy92, and well, happy Easter, everyone, or happy holidays. Either way, we're in Soulstone Survivors here, and they have released a new event for this season, for this little Easter season, and well, another event, another video. Although I'll be completely honest, I did miss the, miss the last event. I did. I did play it. I did complete it, but uh, unfortunately, I did not do a video on it. I was a little bit, little bit late to that party, but I hope you all made it. This one, this event is no exception to the others, though. It has a achievement and achievement for c completing it two different curse levels: one for curse level 25 and one for 34. Now, I do enjoy these events, they are different from another, one another in different ways. And I think they have done it very well with this one as well. Although it did not take place uh, in the location I expected. Uh, to get to this uh, event you need to be in the caves of Dal Zog. Or however you pronounce that, but Dal Zog. Zog. And in the upper left corner, or not in the corner, but close to the corner, in the upper left there, you will have a cage to destroy. And in this cage is some kind of small... It could be an Easter bunny, I'm not sure. It's small and it's bluish and something. And guess what? When you have released that one, well, I don't know if it's instant or after a while, but then some blue eggs are gonna spawn in the map. So this will this event is an egg hunt, basically. And you need to collect a lot of those eggs. And for each egg you pick up, you are getting slowed. You get slowed down significantly actually. Uh, picking up seven or eight of them, eight is the maximum that you can carry. You will crawl. I mean, calling it a crawl is an overstatement. Crawling would be faster than picking up eight of those eggs. I recommend picking up four, five at the most. This is depending on your movement speed, I guess, and character. I use the assassin because I like the new bombing abilities with that one. And it works quite well against bosses and enemies early on, and a bit mid to late game as well. Uh, I also focus a lot on crit and crit damage on that one, for chance crit damage. Works quite well. Now, another thing to notice is that the assassin also has three dashes, which does help a lot when your movement speed is, is reduced by a lot. Uh, this actually helped me survive a lot, but uh, when I I wanted to see how fast I was when I picked up those seven or eight eggs, and yeah, it got a bit too much, and I died. Uh, I died so hard. Uh, not necessarily because of the eggs, but they I did lose one of my revives because of those. The second time uh, I went into that, uh, I managed, but I didn't collect enough eggs. So the p event portal did not spawn, but uh, that's fine. Uh, the third time I used golems as a diversion, actually. Uh, giving me more time to collect eggs without get getting bombarded by all the bosses and enemies. Which was a... I, it was sent from God. It was those golems tanked those bosses. I have no idea what they have done to the golems. They seem to be buffed. I'm not sure, but damn, they could tank. And then I spawned new ones, and then they tanked. So yeah, perfect diversion. Use golems if you are having trouble surviving through this egg hunt. That I do recommend. Now another thing with the eggs is, I'm not. I think there's a small bug with them. Uh, I was running through them as I had, I think, bloodlust activated, and I think I ran so fast that I couldn't, that I didn't pick them up. Uh, I'm not sure if this was a bug or if it's just uh, if you move too fast, uh, the game doesn't re register you moving through them or picking them up, because you need to run through them to pick them up. So yeah, you can't 
dash through them to pick them up. I noticed that as well, so keep that in mind. Run through the eggs to pick them up. Now, <clears throat> as I completed the boss, as you can see here on the... Uh, well, it wasn't too bad, but I do like the mechanics they had in that. I, unfortunately, I killed them so fast that uh, I did not... Uh, get to notice those uh, wagons or the those mine carts actually going down the tracks there with those big drills on them. I have no idea how much damage those did. I should have. I, I, I kind of want to know now. Oh well. Uh, he died and I completed it and I got the three abilities for one or for each achievement. Now the abilities you get are decent and if you don't want to know about the the details on the abilities if you don't want to know what they do well bye bye now because uh, I'm spoiling the abilities here just uh, what they're gonna do I'm not gonna show any gameplay of them though because I try to do that but I could not get all of three abilities for some reason I even picked a rune that is supposed to increase my likelihood of getting a certain a certain one of the Abilities that I missed, but I could not even get that, so yeah. Anyway, the abilities you get are decent. Uh, one of them is a projectile, basically a... Like a... like arrows or something. They're balls, like some eggs, I mean eggs, sorry. <laughs> They're eggs, uh, which are pretty good uh, causing exposed, which is not bad, I do like that. The second one is a movement speed boost empowering thing, which is not bad. I mean, it lasts for 8 seconds and a 20 second cooldown and movement speed for 60%. But this is, of course, without increasing the movement speed and reducing cooldown and blah blah blah. Now, I'm not sure about this one. Uh, it's decent, I guess, but then, we, then again, we already have blood lost. Bloodlust, which increases attack speed and movement speed. So yeah, this one has a higher movement speed, but this is only movement speed. Having an attack speed and movement speed would be better. So I don't know why you would go with that instead of Bloodlust. The third one, Frenzied Bunnies. I do like that one. <laughs> it's kind of funny, but I'm surprised it's a Chaos ability. And it tells damage between one and whatever number you're at when you use it. And it's a very short cooldown and you actually summon two of them at a the time. A maximum of ten. So yeah, I like that one. Uh, I haven't you I did use it for a short while uh, when I tried to get all the abilities and it was decent. It, I mean, it's they spawned, they ran towards the enemy, exploded, dealt, dealt damage. Not bad. If you're going for a chaos build, could be fun to use that one. The egg shooter is the one I did not get to use. I wonder if... Uh... Oh yeah, they're piercing enemies. Egg shooter, piercing enemies, so cool. They're basically like magic missile. Hmm, that is a bit disappointing. In that regard, that is. Huh. Oh well. Um, I'll look at into maybe creating a build with those, but hmm, we'll see. Now, this has been the Cobalt event in Four Souls on Survivors. Have you tried the event? Well, if you're not, go try it. It's, it could be worth it. It could be worth it. I was Weapon I2. Have a great life, and I hope to see you in a few videos. Bye bye!